The Twin Cities is home to a vibrant community of artists, and we've seen so much of that creativity following the death of George Floyd. In this week's Maury Stories, our Maury Glover shows us the effort to save the stunning works of art created in the wake of that tragic moment. And I know, and I know, and I know a big change is coming. Days after George Floyd was killed and the unrest that followed, boarded up buildings around the Twin Cities became impromptu art galleries. Artists saw the plywood boards covering up broken doors and windows as blank canvases to express the grief, anger, and frustration many were feeling at the time. But as the portraits of George Floyd and shows of support for Black Lives Matter come down, there's a grassroots effort to give these temporary works of art a permanent home. As you can kind of see, it says leave your message of support. Lisa Kelly is one of the people trying to preserve the street art that popped up after Floyd's death. So we've tried to make them as neat as possible. After participating in the protests, Kelly was looking for a way to stay involved. This one is one of my favorites. Um, it doesn't match any of the others. We just kind of found it as they were actually throwing it away. She believes collecting the murals that paint a different picture of the Twin Cities during that turbulent time is a good way to keep the momentum of the movement alive. It was really uplifting. It, it shed light on a really dark time. And I think it made a lot of us who were really internalizing this and feeling trauma I think it made us feel less alone. It made us feel like we, we were safe to go out on the street. Kelly teamed up with another young black woman, Kenda Zellner Smith, and the Minnesota African American Heritage Museum to create Save the Boards to memorialize the movement. So far, they've collected about 150 boards from stores and businesses in hopes of finding a climate controlled storage space to keep them safe until they can be put on display for the community. And I was like, what's going to happen to these, you know? Art has always been a storytelling mechanism throughout history. And I thought, okay, this is the art that's going to tell this story. The story is literally written out and drawn out, scene by scene here on these boards. Screaming from the mountains, from the The people want to rise and grow. So we can rise up. But they aren't the only ones trying to immortalize these creative pieces of Minnesota history. We're operating under that assumption that this is sort of the biggest sort of art event in history. Um, and the art is on the streets for the public to see. The University of St. Thomas's Urban Art Mapping Project has started a database to collect and map photos of George Floyd and anti-racist street art. It's been unbelievable to see how important art and artists are to this community. Professor Todd Lawrence says the pieces range from fully realized murals to simple drawn or spray painted words or phrases. But together they represent the full spectrum of emotions and experiences of the artists and reveal the power of an art form many never noticed or acknowledged before. Our motto for our team is wall speak. And we really believe that, you know, what's on the walls is a representation of what people are feeling, what's in their hearts. So far, the database has collected more than 1,300 images, not just from uptown to downtown to the Midway area of St. Paul, but from across the country and around the world. I think this is all very powerful, and I think it'll make people think about how they view art, because these probably won't end up in museums. I think people need to learn how to see art and how it interacts with their lives outside of museums, you know, outside of the classroom. And this is a really great time to do that. Yeah, this one is really cool. Kelly I'm hopes to display the boards in a park near 38th in Chicago for seven days around the anniversary of George Floyd's death every year. But saving the art that means so much to so many is the real masterpiece. Things have to change. Things have to be different. They can't go back to the way they were. And if that means starting with the way we preserve art that comes out of a civil rights movement, so be it. Big change is coming. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News. A big change is coming. Save the Boards to Memorialize the Movement is trying to raise $50,000 to preserve those George Floyd murals. If you'd like to help, we have a link to our story at fox9.com.